Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Non Included, Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space for the past month or so. We have been dealing with a slowly unfolding disaster that we've been slowly folding back in on itself. We've just got a few effects kicking around, but they are all fixing themselves. And I think we're at the point where we can finally think... How are we going to get our uranium into our research reactor and then harvest the tasty, tasty radiation products from that? Uh, the thing that I'm particularly uh, worried about is I don't want to try and fill this up all the way. Uh, the only way to put uranium into this, uh, this, this, this line here shows you how much uranium has, and this one here is how much water. Speaking of water, we should connect the water lines up. Let's just go ahead and do that. Nothing bad comes from putting some water into the system and then the next thing we need to deliver is if we come down to the very bottom of here here we go we've got some uh, enriched uranium comes out of the beta hives we had a lot of fun letting these guys do their work and it looks like they've done most of their work there's some more over here that needs to be done and then we need to try and make our way through and uh, make this a nice little bee garden as well but for the majority of the time at the moment we are fine with the 9.8 tons so we need to try and get uranium in there the problem is when we we could just have a duplicate doing it we could just have a duplicate coming around and putting it in there and then slowly frying to death as the radiation turns his DNA into sludge and uh, it all blisters up. Oh, it gets horrible. We don't we don't want people suffering from radiation sickness here. So we're going to use the robots, obviously. Let's try and deconstruct these. Uh, we're going to use... Uh, let's, let's have a look in the shipping here. Uh, hopefully I've got enough steel. Oh no! Where's the steel? <laughs> oh, it's in the gas pumps. You know what? We don't, we don't want these gas pumps here either. Either. In fact, I need to keep these ladders. Wait, wait, wait. We need to keep the ladders so we can get rid of this gas pump uh, and a bunch of piping. Uh, but once we've done that, we'll use that to uh, to make an auto-sweeper. In fact, let's do that quick. So jobs are good and right. We throw down an auto-sweeper and then we put in however much it uses per day just so we can turn it off as and when we need to. I mean, it does come with this handy fuel, in it, uh, fuel delivery enabled piece of... Um, piece of automation here surely that's everything we need right well not quite because if i leave i don't know say a hundred kilograms of uranium right there uh, it, it will just go ahead and put it all in there there's no limiting it so the only way i can actually limit is try and limit the amount of stuff that goes down or at least it was within reach we could use a conveyor receptacle we could just dump stuff on the floor i'm a fan of dumping stuff on the floor but like i say we don't want duplicates to get involved here so we're gonna have to use a conveyor chute i need to uh, deconstruct that a conveyor chute and then probably Probably underneath it uh, we'll get some sort of like sensor plate to see whether there's like 10 kilograms here or not uh, and then because uh, there is pretty much no way to regulate the amount of stuff that goes onto a conveyor rail if there is I've not found it you'd have thought the conveyor meter would do it no that counts n number of packets and packets can be anything up to 20 50 kilograms what one of those numbers that's not 10 kilograms anyway and I, I want 10 kilograms uh, so I I'm gonna have to do something weird using uh, an item that I never really use, uh, the sm smart storage bin. Uh, I, I can set this to only accept 20, uh, 10 kilograms of uranium at any one time, and then we'll have like a, another sweeper, like this one up here. We'll place this one, and then we'll have a conveyor loader out of the way. Uh, we can even have a bin over here with another one uh, re ready to go. Uh, and then this sweeper will be controlled by this smart storage bin, and will only turn on when it's got 10 kilograms in there and only 10 kilograms then it will load up and you know we'll have some some automation in the way there and maybe we can have a storage bin over here so we keep lots of our uranium and then it only needs to get traveled just this tiny distance when it wants to be topped up yeah that, that, that might be the way of course standing on the shoulders of giants here um, most of I don't know if I drew a line here, uh, is Francis John. Uh, this might be, I can't remember. This this idea came to me from somewhere. Uh, I, I think it's my own work, but uh, who knows? <laughs> Took me a long time fiddling about in a test world. My poor, poor test world that's for full of abandoned duplicates and uh, half-finished product projects. Because uh, when I when I test them, I get all the way to the end and then don't save. And so I've got the test rig from the from the morning before, which is not fully complete, right? It's a hideous place. I don't really like going there. But this still won't cut it because there's one other thing that we need. We need to have an automation signal. I'm going to go for the uh, the cycle sensor. I'm going to put it there. There will be 
jiggering of, uh, of of signals around. But we only want this to turn on once a day, so we'll set the cycle up for a 2% of the day turn on, and we'll have an AND gate here. Uh, we'll have a similar situation over here. I definitely want to have a, not a big on-off switch, maybe underneath here, that just controls the reactor. You know what? We can, we can go ahead and put that in automation. I hope we've got enough steel, yeah, just for a switch. I mean, I just... I just need the switch. The switch is a good idea. And aluminium, uh, very high melting point, so we'll take that. So that's, that's the big old override switch. We can turn that on and off as is needed. All right, I think I think we're getting there. We definitely need to do some more sweeping, and uh, there are a few little bits of power that we need to sort out. Somehow need to get the power in here to power this, but also to try and extract the power from these guys. I am running out of any, any material to build... Oh, the copper. Uh, yeah, I, I'm running out of most materials to build the uh, the heavy watt wire out of. Uh, if only I had a more consistent form of radiation over here, I could I could send all the aluminium over. Oh, this this fully broke. <laughs> but, uh, we'll we'll figure that out in a little bit. It does appear to be sending. Yeah, 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 a whole bunch of aluminium over at any one moment. So you know, maybe maybe we we can do this. Place everything with conductive wire, maybe? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Well, anyway, when the wires get in place, harvesting the power is not the important part right now. It, it will be. It will we'll end up that running our whole base off of this. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly sure we could just rip this to the ground once we've got this up and running. Finding the raw materials, always a trouble. We've been putting all the automation in place over here, but as you can see, it's taken us a few days or so. Oh, let's set this up. We want the activation duration to be very, very short, and then we'll put that somewhere around the middle of the day. So it only turns on for 2% of the day at any one time. Uh, when that turns on, we also have to not have anything on the weighted pressure plate that goes through an AND gate, and then it comes down here and makes sure that there is a, um, 10 kilograms in the smart storage before it even turns this auto sweeper on goes and dumps everything over there. You know what? I've not actually put the conveyor chute on down there. Let's go for a steel one. You never know if we're going to overheat it. But do you want to see what I've been doing uh, whilst they've been doing that? Because, of course, we've been just, like, laying down, uh, laying down a bunch of jobs for them to do. So what I've been doing instead is coming over to reversal in here. I've already pushed all of this up by one. We need to try and move this across. Uh, but I think I'm just about to time lapse this entire bit here being done. Do you want to watch that? But whilst we sit back and watch the duplicates deal with lava and thousand degree rocks, I would like to take this moment right here and tell you about the hottest things I know in the universe. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue our shenanigans comfortably into the future. Once again, I find myself on the very day of release, struggling hard to get this video released, but the inspiration these people give to me makes it all worth it. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, choice of materials held me back there. Because these bottom ones are made out of granite, I actually asked all these top ones to be made out of obsidian, and then people had to go running all the way over here to get it. So, you know, there was a little bit of a, a hold up there in the system, but I feel like this went quite well. You could see all of the magma being thrown in over here. Let's go and have a look on Irigao and see how much of this stuff got put in place. Nowhere near as much as I was hoping. Yay. So I'm, I'm going to do it again tomorrow. That That's exactly just going to be my plan for the next couple of days. We're going to go through we're going to get all of the uh, power line over here built and of course the automation for getting the uh, research reactor up and running i've already turned the switch off for the research reactor but i've also cut the power so we can't have this uh, inadvertently firing up whilst we're not watching uh, over on pi accident i want to point out look our water level has dropped down over here that means we are definitely chewing through all of the polluted water that we have uh, i am a little bit worried about what happens when we run out of polluted water i've somehow I'm going to have to hook this system up and then drain all of this stuff and do the same to empty it out. Uh, and also, we're still pumping this polluted water away. So, yeah, there's, there's still a lot of polluted water that we are dealing with on Pi Accident. No, no big problems, though. Apologies for the audio issues in that previous clip. OBS reset its sound settings for some reason. I, I have no idea why. Uh, talking of no idea why, I have no idea why it took me this long to realise that actually nobody has the ability to build 
build the uh, stuff here. You do need a specific skill. Let's get skills over here. Uh, and having a look through, let's have a look. I, was it Spitzer who was going to be the least distraught by taking this on? Now, he is still distraught. If we have a look at everybody else, nobody else really has the uh, the base skills to get their way up to Mechatronics Engineer. Ooh. Oh, I might stand corrected. Compton looks like maybe, because Compton is spending a lot of time inside the base. But Spitzer is the guy who's going around and doing all the jobs. I'm going to I'm gonna go with Spitzer, and then we're going to look at Compton and try and figure out why he is so much uh, happier than Spitzer. Good meal, great hill, interesting skills, duplicate latrine. Okay, um, skills. Okay, so Spitzer doesn't have a whole bunch of the stuff that, that, that Compton does. Let's have a look up there. Great hall, he doesn't have a good meal. Uh, the duplicate uh, poor meal is what he's looking at. We could probably upgrade the latrine. Two shift breaks is good. Barracks is okay. We could probably upgrade that as well. Okay, let's let's try and get Spitzer being a little bit nicer in the background while he also goes through and uh, makes all of it. Ooh, what? Why do we not have the copper ore to go into there? But that, that's all right. We'll we'll figure that out. I think one of the things I want to do is try and make these guys personal bedrooms over here. That's definitely a thing we can do. That's Hubble's. That's Spitzer's. Okay, uh, let's deconstruct Spitzer's and turn the uh, the controls up. There. We'll also take a, a, a cobalt door, it turns out, and pop that right here if I can. Is that is that the midpoint? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. All right, good man. Spitzer coming to rip down his own bed here. He knows what's happening. He knows that this is a good thing. I hope I've got the plastic to be able to build a better one. But if we just kind of throw that down there, grab a tile, press B, not F, uh, grab a tile, maybe an airflow tile to land. Mm, I, don't, I don't know if we need that. Uh, and then suddenly all of this will be good. This is going to be in the way, isn't it? If we go into furniture and have a look at the up the top here, comfy bed, oh, very much in the way. Okay, I've asked for all of that to get ripped down. We can throw up an aero pot instead. I'm sure that will be fine. Maybe, ooh, I'm scrolling in. Uh, maybe we will naturally need to get a wall pot up there instead. Uh, and of course, the comfy bed is the important thing here. Grand Prix or Bouncy Castle? I think Spitzer's going to go for the Bouncy Castle. Okay, the Luxury Barracks are going to give him another plus two. And also, let's go have a look on his consumables list here. Scroll down to Spitzer. Uh, and uh, let's just turn all of these off that aren't barbecue or better. I, I don't think I can do better at the moment, actually, at the moment. Ooh, it reset for me. Nice. I don't think I can do better at the moment. What is going on here? Could you please not? Uh, we can definitely do uh, Paku fillets and stuff. But over here, we've got cooked seafood, grub fruit preserve, and barbecue. He's not even out the barbecue we got it we got to give him the barbecue okay great i should hopefully supercharge his morale there all right is, is, is it working over here i mean he didn't get anything done but maybe maybe it will uh, get done tomorrow also just have a quick look yeah we, we could do a little bit better with the food but mostly working okay i'm sure if we uh, could be bothered to upgrade the toilets that would probably do a lot of work as well so I moved all 9.8 tons over here. That's cool. Uh, another thing I want to do is obviously in here, we want the manufactured materials, uranium. I'm going to turn that down to zero for now because we're not going to put anything in it. But when we can, we're going to, we're going to go 10. Uh, but that doesn't happen until everything else is ready. Uh, talking of everything else ready, ooh, one thing that I nearly forgot, one thing that I definitely, definitely need to do is put something down here uh, to just drop a little bit of water down on the floor. This aqua tuna could, uh, well, if, if it finds fires up. Thankfully I've disconnected well that's not the power line. Thankfully I've disconnected it from the power line. But if it fires up with no way of transferring its heat around as would be the case in a vacuum uh, it could very well just melt and that, that would be terrible. I may, may have done that once or twice in the past. Let's not try and uh, repeat the mistakes of the past. <laughs> Brilliant. Now that we've let Spitzer have a proper bedroom and some good food, his morale is 19 out of 40. Uh, 14, sorry. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Uh, this is not happening, though. That That's not what I want. I am ready to start get and uh, get going. I'm a little bit worried about the fact that we don't have any uh, copper ore to do the rails there. Uh, I have just asked for this aluminium... Um, ethanol distiller to be taken apart because if we have a look over here this 
petroleum generator's only been on for about 10% of the past however many cycles, uh, and this ethanol distillery here is only being used a third of the time, so it uh, doesn't look like we really need it all that much. We'll keep an eye on the pipes here and see how it's doing, but I think we're doing okay to, uh, to scavenge that and put them into some railings over here. If we need more, I mean, there's plenty of really bad wiring over here that we could make better at some point and probably uh, salvage some, some tasty, tasty materials from that. So I've just noticed we've got a little bit of a water lock here and I'm uh, very interested to know what happens if we just let all the chlorine loose. I've got a feeling it's just going to come down and settle into this area here, probably via this route, but some of it might end up over here and that would be a little worrisome, but we've got to deal with it somehow. Okay, here Herbal goes. Let's have a look at the uh, the overlay. I've got a feeling it's going to take a while because there's this tiny, tiny gap for it to get out of. I'm going to speed this up in the edit, but of course I think the most pressing question here is, is the the oxygen flowing up or is the chlorine flowing down? I think I know which side I'm on, but what about you? What, what, what do you think? Okay, I don't mind admitting to you that I'm a little bit nervous about the way I've laid out these uh, conduction panels here, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of rebuild them somewhat. I think uh, that way, and then we turn this around, and the fact that I've got a pipe there is meaning I can't put this down here. Uh, but then we'll, we'll zigzag back and forth and cover each of them. I feel like I didn't actually cover any of the blocks that were doing anything here, and actually I'm a little bit worried now about covering it this way, but you know, we'll see what we can do. Can I, in fact, uh, F6 is what I want to destroy wait let's, let, let's let's try this again okay yes i can build it into the wall so i feel like it's that one i want and then probably that way and then probably that way i i think that's the setup i want uh if we if that's not true then that's one of the reasons why we've just spent so long trying to figure out the safe way of uh, putting fuel into this and then we only need to wait a day because I feel like somewhere out to here it's going to be completely uninhabitable. There is no way a duplicate is going to be able to get any closer than that without suffering some pretty major radiation symptoms. And I, and I really don't want to melt a duplicate. I don't, I don't really mind too much if I blow up the research reactor. It will kind of be funny. But if I kill my duplicates, uh, that, yeah, that would be sad. In fact, I'm not sure if we're going to have to change a delivery method over here. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out when it's up and running. I only want to fire it up for one day and see what happens. I think one of the things I'm going to have to do is turn the aqua tuner on to boil this steam. I'm, I'm not sure what happens if the research reactor hasn't got a little bit of steam around it when it turns on. Is, is it going to instantly have no way to shed the heat I, I think I think it actually swaps the uh, the temperature with the water and then when that's super hot dumps that out so I think we should be okay Sh should we experiment and find out we can we can take a save and just fire it up see what happens for, for science I think we should Ah, uh, yes, it wouldn't let us put it that way. Uh, we, 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 can, we can fix this. We can fix this. If we just grab the conduction panel, the pipes won't go through the conduction panel, so I need to swap it around like this. It's a bit weird that it will let you build this pipe going downwards, but if we just do that instead, that should then give us what we want, I, I think. I think. Let's put this up to a high priority and see what happens when Spitzer gets to it. Spitz, by the way, ran out of... Uh, um, barbecue almost instantly uh, we could go in here and start killing a few I, I think that might be the plan but uh, I'm, I'm surprised they're not dying a little bit quicker I suppose they're just hanging around up in this top section here which is uh, only minus 13 and they can survive all the way down to minus 30 I believe yeah yeah so it's uh, hmm. if we have a hundred here we could have one a day but we don't have a hundred there we do have a nice nice little farm turning over. It's a little disappointing we've run out of polluted water. We do have an ample supply of polluted water. We could probably just make that happen. All right, honestly, who, who noticed before I did? Let's, let's hear you in the comments. I'm sure there's loads of you out there. Who, who thinks aluminium's got a high melting point? Why would anybody think aluminium's got a high melting point? Indeed, that is what I'd gone and done. I'd gone, I, I don't know, for some reason I had it in my head that the melting point of aluminium was 1,500. It's not, it's like 600. Let, let's have a look, here's a wire over here. Let, look, uh, melts at 600, that, that's not good enough for in here. And honestly, I'm not sure that I've got many materials that are good enough for in here. Gold has a melting point of 1,000 degrees, and that's what I'm gonna go with for now. I'm fairly sure it's 
going to throw out uh, water that is hotter than that. But I think uh, we get, we're going to just have to run with it because I don't have much steel over here at the time. Uh, right now, let's have a look. I think I've got tw tw 260 kilos. Now, what, what we can do, of course, is take all of the... Where, where have we got? Co no, co no cobble. Uh, there, there's iron ore here, but more importantly, there's a bunch of rust as well. We could send all the rust back over to Reverslin. We could then uh, churn it into uh, iron and then get the iron into uh, more steel over here. How much steel do we actually have right here right now? Uh, this also 600 kilos, but that's because it's mostly been sent over to Pyaxon. But we are, we are just, in general, running out of steel. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking this is a good opportunity for a test fire. Is that... Is that true? I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it anyway. So we're gonna have to try and set everything up as soon as Spitzer has done this. Now th this is ready to roll. This is like, hey, if this is higher than 22 degrees, could you please chill the liquids out? And you know, th that should keep everything nice and cool around the outside. Just building this right now. Uh, I'm gonna start setting up a few things over here. So of course, we have said already that we want ur enriched uranium here. I want 10 kilos if we could. Someone will come along and make that delivery. Oh wait, we need to turn turn this priority down even further. So this one has a higher priority than that, and that has a higher priority. Uh, no, sorry, this this um, conveyor loader has a higher priority because we're going to once again go enriched uranium. Uh, I, I think that's all we need to do, honestly. We should be able to see this all just kind of tick through at some point. I'm not sure who's going to come along and do the jobs. Oh, we, we, we've got other things we need to do, of course. Uh, we're going to connect these together and then connect these together. I'm really scared. I've got to be honest with you. I am really, really scared right now. I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen. That, that's, that's going up far too fast. Also, there's a bunch of stuff on the floor there, and that's going to turn into liquid aluminium if we leave that running. This is going to take a while to, bu uh, to build, and this is going to take a while. Okay, we, we at this point, need to stop the power. Uh, we, ca we cannot let this just boil dry. Uh, at some point, this is all going to recondense. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's watch all the liquids come up here. Uh, Spitzer going to have some problems, and I really hope that they don't breathe out inside all of this steam, because that, that would also be bad. Wait, waiting for this to get built, it turns out, is a little bit more hassle than I thought it was going to be. Particularly enjoying the 60 odd degree steam we get occasionally. That that that's fun. I mean, all of it at the moment is under a hundred, apart from down here where it's pretty hot. Uh, the materials I'm using here, we've still got an aluminium bridge right there. I I need to get rid of that before anything else can happen. Got to deconstruct that. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up at. I don't know if I'm gonna hit the the alarm, but we're definitely gonna put it up at a high priority here. Okay, I'm gonna hit the alarm because we want this done. <laughs> Maybe own rain chamber here. That that's really not I wonder if that's a thing we can actually set up somewhere and we just have constant rain falling down. We like keep the top plate at about, you know, fifty degrees even twenty degrees, whatever. It doesn't matter what what temperature it is, as long as it's under a hundred, and then you keep down the bottom at a hundred and just a little bit of water. It doesn't need to be much. Swimping uh, swapping back and forth would keep this nice little rain effect going. I'm a little bit worried about what happens if the water backs up into this petroleum, but I'm I'm hoping it's fine for now. Okay, so we've gone ahead and done the replacement with gold. Yes, please. Thank you. I don't know what the melting point of copper is. Uh, it's about the same as gold. Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of worried about the fact that my red bolt generators are still climbing in temperature here. Maybe we got a problem. Thankfully, I've got a save. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new save, and then at, if things go wrong, we're gonna come back to this point here. <laughs> and any advice on on these, I I'd very much enjoy it. If, if if people could give me some advice on what it is I'm supposed to be doing here that I'm not doing well enough, I I I'd, I'd, I'd really enjoy it. I'd like to know. I feel like it's very much a thing I need. Hmm, I've got a temperature shift plate behind these ones on Pi Axley. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's the difference. Should, should we just go ahead and do that anyway? What have I got that's really good? I was kind of hoping for obsidian or something. Hey, why not? Why not gold? Everything else is made of gold. I'm, I'm just gonna like do that. I think. <laughs> Uh, the power systems aren't good enough. Let's, let's, let's just cut that one in half for now. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one. It's still climbing in temperature. I'm really not loving that. Okay, we'll, we'll have to see what we can do about it. I, I really don't know what I've done wrong here. I feel like this should 
have covered the area quite nicely. The red bolt reflector isn't even swapping its temperatures. Have I, have I just put them down on the wrong point? Am I supposed to put them on that point rather than this point? Maybe, maybe we will reshuffle this around in a little bit. But as soon as this last one... I was going to say as soon as this last one goes in place, we'll get going. But, like, no. <laughs> well, this is definitely a problem but a problem for another day i think what we're gonna do is just hit a, a super high priority i want someone to come along and make a delivery before this oh we've already passed it but we'll, we'll set we'll set this up i just i just want to see it ticking over before the end of this episode i don't know about you lot but i, I feel like that's where we can be Okay, so this now says, hey, I'm all good, please, oh, no, wrong button, wrong button, uh, we should um, now be sending out a green signal, this is saying, hey, I don't have anything on me, so that's sending out a green signal, so if we now just swing the active time, uh, yeah, active time around to here, uh, at some point they are all going to tick over, can we, can we bring this a little bit closer without destroying my life, I think so, uh, this should then power, there we go, the auto sweeper, you can see it turns off, but the five seconds gives it more than enough time to deliver its little 10 kilogram payload over here this is going across i'm gonna flick the switch i'm gonna do it all right here we go uh once this gets put down on the floor this then this auto sweeper picks everything up and the whole system resets okay so i'm gonna press stop here we can see the uranium is in there we can see that it is gaining temperature and it's swapping the temperature with this water here okay that's pretty cool well actually it's pretty hot but I'm, I'm accepting it for now if we open the radiation display oh look at that we could put some shielding here most definitely that's actually doing okay uh, more importantly how many reds are we uh, building up right now 173 per cycle man that's that's a lot <laughs> that's like a lot a lot but that that's pretty cool pretty cool I need to put some lead lining across the top here I think that's kind of obvious maybe we'll put an auto sweeper down and yeah i, I don't know we'll, we'll figure that one up oh hey spitzer where are you going store salt let's uh let's cancel all that that's that's not what you should be doing <laughs> not even close uh so we've managed to not melt this Th this is good so far this is good okay there goes some water at this point oh, it hits the floor erupts into steam let's press f4 these guys should now just fire up yep 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 okay i think we need to now connect the power press b uh connect those together okay that that's all good for now this is sat in temperature it's pretty hot it's pretty hot round here, but I'm hoping that these dropping down onto the floor will also... I maybe should have put this over this way so it's all dropping down into this little container here because this nuclear waste, 220... I mean, that's not ridiculously hot, but my overheat temperature is 300 degrees. So hopefully we're not going to get much higher than that because that would be bad. I feel like we're doing okay, but already Spitzer is having some problems. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to have to sort out the uh, the system here. I'm going to now turn this off because we've managed to not explode ourselves on a seat. Where are you going? Uh, Spitzer, you'll get, you'll get out. Wait, where are you going? Disinfect research reactor. Why? <laughs> I'm just going to move you out of here and then we're going to set this door to no entry for a little bit. We're, we're going to let people out, but we're not going to let people in. If they somehow find their way in here and they can't find their way out, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, so th this was not good. Look at that. Okay, we're, well, I'm glad we only reached one cycle. Uh, but everything else seems to be working okay. Uh, things that I want to do. We're going to move that over there and we're going to move some high pitch over there. Uh, that's good. This is not going because it's not hot enough. Yet yeah, here is super hot. So we're blatantly going to need to put down a bunch of temperature shift plates. I really don't care what I make them out of as long as it's not... Uh, here we go. Obsidian looks good. Uh, as long as it's... Well, I don't want that one. I want something like this going up. Um, and that should then allow the temperature to shift into here. That That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Yeah, as long as it's not like plastic or something that's going to melt, I don't really mind what we make the temperature shift plates out of. Uh, so I've asked for this to shut on the day, but look, we We've managed to not blow ourselves up with nuclear power. Yay! These here need to be moved out here as well. Oh, they're not even connected. We're just gonna ask for the. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just gonna ask for these to get destroyed then. We got we got some power ticking over, but not a great deal. 
Okay, nobody's dead and the place hasn't blown up. I, I, I call this a great success. You know, I, I think this is really, really good. I'm a little bit worried about this and I'm a little bit worried about the Thermal Aqua Tuna. Uh, but mostly I think we're doing okay. I was really sure that this was supposed to run out of uranium. I suppose we did start late in the day. I'm gonna have to make uh, an atmosphere, atmospheric suit dock system over here. But this is going okay. This, this 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 could be a lot worse. You know what? I forgot that we're just going to keep dumping more and more nuclear waste as well. I need to figure out a way of dealing with this. I think the way that I am going to deal with this is to rip this little insulated tile down here, put a pump in, and then infinite storage? I don't really like using them, but may maybe, maybe that's what we'll do. I mean, we could put that up here with this lot, and then we just, like, keep throwing. Because uh, I'm not sure if you know, the these... I mean, there's there's a fair amount of radiation, uh, 600 rads per second down here. That That's quite a bit. Quite a bit. But I'm mostly impressed with how I've not managed to blow up the corner of the map. I, w I was totally expecting this to go through a bit of a meltdown and we would have a very bad time. But, but, but no, we're doing okay. We're more than halfway through the fuel at the moment, so that's good. I Yeah, I, I can't believe I forgot about that. I mean, of course, it is a thing. All right, now all I really want to do is try and cool this place back down so I can get in there and work on it. <laughs> I mean, the research reactor is still at 21 degrees. I mean, that that's kind of cool. Well, despite all the issues, we're about to get our first rad bolt going. All right, beautiful. All about that. Uh, but I'm afraid with that, I am going to actually have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I will indeed see you next time where we're going to run out of uranium in here. As you can see, we're down to only 1.5 kilograms left. We're getting quite a, a dense collection of steam in here, which is actually enabling my uh, thermal aqua tuna to stay nice and cool. The problem, of course, the fact there wasn't enough atmosphere Sphere in here to deal with all that. Uh, next time we're going to break in, we're going to fix all of this lot, and then maybe we're going to start thinking about a radiation um, powered rocket and maybe get our exploration on over to Damplin because we've been, we've been meaning to get there for so long now. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye. Why don't I have a petrol rocket here?